Today, we're covering the FDA's toxic hand sanitizer list, the expansion of more federal agents, and Mike Tyson's return to boxing. Welcome to the Ill Bit Show, where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Let's get to it. Has your hand sanitizer been smelling a little off? It might be because there are higher amounts of wood alcohol, otherwise known as methanol in it. The FDA has expanded its list of hand sanitizers that contain toxic levels of methanol. When methanol is being absorbed through the skin, it can cause blindness and hospitalization, or if ingested, it can cause death. Some of these brands on the FDA list have been sold at Walmart, Costco, and other national chains. Experts advise us to check the FDA's list for dangerous hand sanitizers before buying an unknown brand. After multiple violent incidents in Chicago, the Trump administration is sending in anti-violent task forces to help. The task force will include agents from the FBI, DEA, Homeland Security, and more. Concerns are being raised on what the role of the federal agents will be. David Stavall, professor of Black Studies and Criminology at the University of Illinois, said, Sending in federal agents without any specific or clear reasons for their presence is a very slippery slope. There are currently over 35 agents in Albuquerque, over 200 in Kansas City, and Chicago's is expecting around 200 as well. Have you ever wanted to watch two 50-year-olds box? I'm not even sure that I have until now. Mike Tyson and Roy Joyne Jr. will be entering the ring September 12th for an eight-round exhibition. The fight is being called the Frontline Battle and will likely take place in California. This fight isn't a complete surprise to some, Iron Mike has been talking about getting back into the ring for months. And he kind of said he wanted to fight Evander Holyfield. Up first is Roy Jones Jr., who has 75 professional fights and a record of 66 and 9. Tesla stock has skyrocketed over the last couple of years, and in an earnings call held on Wednesday, could have investors even more excited. Some say the stock is already overvalued, but the company has been profitable for the last four quarters. The major announcements of the earnings were, number one, the announcement of a gigafactory in Austin, Texas. Number two, there are improvements being made to their manufacturing process through casting, press technology. And number three, they are planning on expanding the Tesla insurance to states outside of California, as CEO Elon Musk received $101 million for hitting the company milestones. Surprise! Tonight at midnight, I'll be releasing my eighth studio album, Folklore, tweeted Taylor Swift. The entire album was written and recorded entirely in isolation during the COVID pandemic. The sudden release of the re album is exciting, but something that T-Swift doesn't typically do. She said, before this year, I would probably overthought when to release music at the perfect time, but the times we're living in keep reminding me that nothing is guaranteed. Swift had help on the Folklore album from Bon Erver and producer Jack Antoff. It's an exciting time for sports fans. The NBA began the first of their inner squad scrimmages. Each team will play three scrimmage games before resuming the regular season. MLB's opening day is today. After months of negotiating between the MLB and the MLBPA, the season is set to begin on a reduced 60-game schedule with a standard 10-team playoff following. All of the games are going to be without fans. Well, that's not entirely true. The Dodgers fans can buy a waterproof cardboard cutout in the dugout pavilion and home run seats for $209. If that's too expensive, you have a cheaper option for $149 for field and loge areas. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain, a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thank you for tuning in to Evil Bits, and we'll see you next time.